And there are fears this morning that people have died as a result of Cyclone Pan that's lashing Vanuatu. Communications to the island are down, so lines to hospitals and hotels are disconnected. It's difficult to get information exactly on what's occurred overnight and this morning. We will bring you the latest as we get it into the newsroom. The system, though, is also affecting Fiji, where Roshni Chand is an aid worker with the charity group Plan Australia, and I spoke to her on the phone earlier. Roshni, describe to us what you experienced overnight. There was um, a bit of windy situation and uh, heavy pour in the early, early hours of the night uh, last night. And where exactly were you? Were you seeking shelter? So we just had to close our, you know, be in the house and just be shut inside. And I know that there's a lot of fear with this king tide and with flooding. What information do you have on that? Yes, well, the heavy rain uh, warning remains in force for the Fiji group. People in the low-lying areas uh, are told to evacuate to higher grounds. And in Fiji, close to 700 evacuation centres is in operation. And in terms of the damage to homes, I know that a lot of the areas are obviously low-lying, being islands, and that some of the, the tombs have been opened up by this water. That's, that's the case in Tuvalu on Fanafuti, yes. That's what some of our contacts in Tuvalu have informed us of, because Tuvalu is not shut off from uh, com you know, communication to other parts of the world because the power is down. Yeah, it's a difficult situation. We will wait to hear more information as it comes through. Thank you so much for joining us. All right, thank you. And if you do want information, the government has set up a 24-hour consular emergency helpline. That number, 1300 555 135.